this is Anya Lasagna. Welcome back to my channel. Some of you probably noticed that I have filmed a few videos in this spot before. This is actually my kitchen, but as you can see, today I'm not sitting in front of a boring white clean wall. I have a backdrop! Ta -da! In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I turned my previous white wall into this gallery wall and everything is DIY I've done everything by myself well except for the frames so yeah so for me I think the hardest thing was the layout of pictures making sure that the whole composition would look good so I actually used Canva in the end I came up with uh, not a very accurate but approximate layout that I was happy with then I decided to take some craft paper. I decided to cut out the pieces of paper in the size of the frames that I bought. These two, I like the position, but I think I'm gonna move everything a little bit to the left. So there's some more space there. Uh, so it's a little bit more central. I don't know what I'm doing. I hope it turns out well. I think the planning was very, very important. So only after planning, I started actually painting. So I think normally people would start with painting and then they would buy the frames later. However, I went the other way around. Did you know that frames are so freaking expensive? Like I was shocked. There were frames, for example, this size. This is a frame that I got for five euros. This is a second hand one but a normal, a new one at a home decor or craft shop, this could easily cost 30, 40 euros. That's insane, I think, for a picture frame. I found some thrift shops and most of these frames were very, very affordable. So now let me show you the frames and the paintings and tell you a little bit about the process on how I made them. Let's start with this one. This is the first one. This is actually the only one that I didn't make. This is a poster that I got from Vietnam. It says the Vietnam Times, the Sunday Puzzle, Food Edition. So basically this is a crossword with all the Vietnamese staple dishes. For example, Phở bò mien, chà cá, quẩy bún chà. I really wanted to bring something that related to the Vietnamese culture to put on the display. So I'm very happy with this. All right, so the second one, this is actually the first drawing the painting that I made for this gallery wall. It's this one. And I hope you can tell that this is Duomo uh, because right now I live in Milan. So I was like, I, I really want to paint something that's related to the city. This frame, I think was two years, something like this. And I bought it from Primark. I was very happy. I was looking on Pinterest for photos of Duomo and I really like this one. I really like the angle, but then I like the color of a different photo, so I decided to combine them both. Yeah, so I decided to save on the paper. So I just found a piece of carton, cut it out, and drew it directly on the piece of carton, right? I, um, we like recycling, reusing materials. <laughs> So I started with drawing the outline um, in pencil. I was actually surprised because I thought that the smaller paintings would take me, um, you know, shorter amount of time, but there were actually so many details. Now that I think about it, Duomo itself, it has so many intricate details that it's insane. And actually recently I went to Duomo for a tour and I learned that the whole Duomo Cathedral took actually 600 years to be completed. Six hundred years. That's an insane amount of time, but I can also understand because there were so many details. Over here, there were some blobs that I actually didn't know what they were, so I just drew some shapes and there were some monkeys. I didn't know that, but if you look closely, some of this, I don't know, they're not even columns. Some of these structures, they have tiny monkeys all around it, so that was very cute. Alright, the 
next one, the next one, let's go with... Why don't we go with this one? I'm gonna do in a random order. So, these are two big hands that Tom keeps referring to as monkey hands. I mean, I don't know if I, I should explain it, but basically it's not just hands, okay? It's a representation of Tom and I. <laughs> I guess we're two monkeys. What? <laughs> you didn't know that? <laughs> Initially, the idea was that I wanted to draw something related to us as a couple, something romantic. <laughs> I don't know, personally, I think that it's a very romantic painting. <laughs> Some people see monkey, some people see love, but whatever. I actually have been obsessed with body parts, like drawing body parts or like decor in the shape of body parts. Like, have you seen those candles in the shapes of like torso or like they look like statues? They're so pretty or like vases in shape of like faces with hands, so pretty. I drew the outline of the hands. The hands looked a little bit funny, a little bit um uneven so to say and till this day tom still tells me that they look like monkey hands but all right i painted the background a little bit with beige but then i didn't like the color so i decided to change it to a little bit of gray and then i drew the hands themselves i really like the white spaces i think it makes it look even more 2d like a poster like a print basically i didn't come up with these hands i actually saw the picture on pinterest yeah so i knew that i wanted to draw the hands but hands are very difficult to draw so i chose to draw something like a print 2d instead of something more realistic but i think i added the deep meaning myself all right let's go with the next one let's go with this one this is uh, probably the most cringeworthy one <laughs> out of all of them um, that's what Tom said. He said it's <laughs> he said it's cringe worthy, but I, I kind of agree. So this is a DIY Spotify plaque. This is not anything new. I think it's pretty unique, but actually the tutorials exist on YouTube, and they have been up for a few years now. So this is nothing too unique, but I still wanted to try it out. This is a picture of uh, Tom and I. Um, this is an actual picture that we took in Hanoi and I really like it. I kind of messed up a little bit with the uh, with paint, but it's okay. This one, it's very simple. I basically saved the picture of the code. On Spotify, I took a screenshot of the names if you want to include the names. I printed them out and then I cut out the picture. I glued it onto the paper. Oh, by the way, this frame also was very cheap. I bought it in the Flying Tiger shop for like four or five euros. So I was very happy with that. It's very cool because you can use anything. I used my acrylic paint and I just put the coat under the glass to see the contour and I just painted over with acrylic paint. Mine is not super, super clean, but hey, I'm happy with it. I like how it came out and I decided not to add any words. So I didn't add the title of the song or the performer, but this still works and I'm gonna show you. I have my phone and I'm going to show you. So when you go to Spotify, you go to search and you click on the photograph and you put it here it actually plays the song okay never mind that's it <laughs> i just wanted to show you that it works so let me show you the next one let's go over to this one all right so this is probably one of my favorites if not the favorite one this is a painting done on the pages of a book and uh, it's an astronaut sitting on a planet i really wanted to do something with the space or celestial theme because tom really really likes space and i like anything celestial i think it's just very very pretty so i know some of you might be like oh my god no you did not use a book I did, but I made sure to ask for permission. I specifically used the pages so that I knew that Tom already read, is familiar with. I really liked that the pages actually were in Italian. It's a very, very beautiful book. And 
the whole topic of the book was about the universe, about space, planet and stars. So I thought it was perfect. To make it fit, to make it look a little bit more interesting, I decided to cut the strips out. I glued them on the piece of carton that I already had before. Again, we are recycling, we are reusing the materials we already have. And then I drew the details. black one. This one you definitely need to look at from far away. Does it remind you of anything? Okay, it's called Top from the movie Inception. It's one of Tom's favorite movies and I really like the design. It's simple. I wanted to have something black to add to the whole space a little bit of darkness. This is the frame that I found in Primark as well. I think it was for... actually... oh! It has a price here, 4 euros, I'm very happy. But this is already a frame with the, this cardboard and it was a poster. I, I actually really liked it to begin with, but I didn't want to have anything, you know, with just words, too banal, with some phrases, inspirational quotes. I just painted everything over on this thing. I didn't need to add any extra canvas, I didn't need to buy any extra uh, material. So for this one, I basically just put a layer of primer, I let it dry and then I actually used paint, not acrylic paint, but I used a can of uh, wall paint that I had left. And then I used the acrylic to draw the, the thingy itself. This one, I think I'll have to clean quite a lot. I don't know if it's because of the type of paint or anything, but yeah. Or maybe it's because of the color black, but it attracts quite a lot of dust. So I'll have to clean it quite often. For this one, I'm gonna scooch down a little bit. Ooh, there's a piece of hair. <laughs> this is a famous painting called Kiss by Klimt, but this is my version. Kiss by Klimt is actually one of my favorite paintings. And when I first learned about this painting, I was Quite a few years ago, I thought that, oh my god, it's so unique, maybe not a lot of people know about it. I found a gem, but it turns out, no, it's, it's extremely popular, it's very, very well known, and it's loved by many, but it's okay, I still like it many years later. I like the original a lot, um, the original painting, I like the colors, but I also really like black and white. So I started with actually having the phone with a painting right next to me. I looked at it and tried to draw the main outline, the main lines only. And then I used my markers to, uh, uh, to basically outline everything. And then I decided to add some black parts. It's very simple and I did not want to add too many details. So I only added a few rectangles, a few little spiral things. And I really like how it came out. All right, the next one is this one. Now, I don't know if you can guess. This is a abstract skyline of one city, of a city where I'm from. Hmm, let me know in the comments if you can figure out what city this is. <laughs> so these are the three out of the main buildings that I would say are the symbols of the city. Oh, <laughs> I don't know if you can tell. I decided to add a little bit of gold and red to match the red from the poster here so that not everything is just black and white and brown. I wanted to add some color. This frame was very difficult to work with. I basically thrifted this frame from a second-hand shop for was it five euros. But I'm going to show you the behind. The behind is everything is thanks to Tom. He made this construction. <gasps> Basically, when you buy frames, like if you decide to buy frames first, like I did, 
please be careful when you buy the canvas because this one actually didn't fit into this frame so Tom had to adjust everything and yeah it's it's a little bit of effort but I think it came out well it's very nice the more I look at it the, the more I like it um, the moment I finished it I was like mm, maybe it's not that great but now now I'm okay <laughs> now I like it uh, but yeah let me know in the comments if you know what CD this is. The last one. This one is big and probably from far away, it probably looks just like a white rectangle in a black frame. This is the 3D textured painting of, you know, it's, it's an abstract one, but I personally wanted to make the shape of a mountain. So I took a canvas, I primed it, and then I work with, uh, it's kind of basically like a plaster. You can use different materials and there are a lot of tutorials for that, but it's a, like a construction material. It's very soft, it's thick, but also dries very quickly. And I had to work with this spatula. It's actually very, very therapeutic. It's very relaxing. And I was surprised because it's the biggest painting, biggest canvas, but it literally took the shortest time to complete. So I wanted to make a shape of a mountain. Clearly it's all covered in white, so it reminds me of snow, snowy winter weather. And I'm from Russia and Russia of course is known for very cold winters with a lot of snow. And I have a lot of very fond childhood memories related to snow, winter sports, and um, yeah. Initially I wanted to draw some small figures, like actually like me and my mom there, but I decided to not to. Yeah, I'm not very good with drawing figures and people. I decided to keep it minimal, but then every time I look at it, I don't see just a blob of white. Um, I still think about you know, my childhood. All right, well, that is all. I really hope you enjoyed this video. This video is a little bit different. It's not really related to Italy, uh, but I mean, besides the Duomo picture, I do like anything that's related to art, crafts. So maybe some of you will find this interesting and will want to recreate some of these paintings as well. Well, that's it for today, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.